Now at six, the mess left behind two days after a train derailed in West Dallas. What people who live nearby are having to put up with. Luckily, no one was hurt when that train derailed, but one mother thinks someone could be hurt if a barrier is not put up soon to keep adults and children from getting close to the scene of that accident. Lauren Winfrey has more. Walking along what remains of that train that derailed Thursday, it's clear there's nothing preventing me from getting as close as I want to to the mess or even touching it. And that's why one mother considers this a safety hazard, especially for her young child. Piles of jagged train parts where there once was a field of grass. It's the site of a train derailment and the latest thing to pique the interest of Jennifer Lilly's four year old son. It's way worse than people realize. So bad, Lily says she only lets her son Jacob play indoors or right on the porch where she can watch him closely because she doesn't want him mixed up in the mountain of metal that remains from this train derailment mess. And he's curious, you know, he's like, the train's, train's not working. I'm like, no, it's not working. And he wants to go, but I'm like, no. According to Union Pacific, one of its local motive trains hauling coal derailed Thursday on an overpass in West Dallas. Police say 16 of 147 train cars were involved, but the company hasn't determined a cause. No one was hurt, but Lily fears her child could be if the proper safety precautions aren't taken in the midst of the cleanup. There's just pieces. You know, they're not full cars. There's pieces just everywhere. It's scary. Union Pacific tells today's TMJ4 the company has crews working around the clock to expedite the cleanup process, and they have cleared nearly all of the coal from the grounds. Lily says she hopes they complete the cleanup effort sooner than later so little Jacob can get back to playing outdoors. It's an inconvenience and we want it done. And although there's no barricade or caution tape, Union Pacific has asked everyone to keep their distance. Reporting in West Dallas, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Lauren.